Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. I have another Dollar Tree haul for you. It's small but mighty. Coffee, same me. Um, I got a busy week, so I'm just trying to knock these two videos out. I found the big stacking pumpkin in white. Somebody had mentioned on my in the comment that they make snowman's out of this. Now, I will say this year, it does definitely look like more of an off-white, but I don't, that doesn't bother me. And if you've not seen these, and I'm wondering, do you just put like a beanie hat on it to make your pumpkin? I just lost its head. Let me go get that one moment. Just, you sit right there. Don't move. Don't go away. I'm back. These are more like a cream color. That's more of it. Mm -hmm. uh, my store just got a huge box of these in. Thumbnail. But I'm gonna keep it. Maybe I'll set it out for fall and then we'll decorate it like a pumpkin, like a snowman. I gotta figure out the hat situation. I'm wondering if you just put like a toboggan, toque, I don't know what you call it, a beanie hat on it and a scarf maybe questions answer me so I did find that that was my exciting thing that I found um I'm kind of just waiting they're slowly but surely getting a little bit of more fall and some Christmas but if you like comment and I love me some comment look at the size of this thing 50% more this was a dollar 25 I'm almost 100% sure of it but let's look yeah, it was $1.25 because the only thing I bought for $5, this was $5, the big one. The little ones are $1.25. Speaking of, I've been seeing at my store, um, they're blending the prices of stuff together. Like $5, $3 items are throughout the store now. So that's probably why they got the price checkers in. Uh, but it was very confusing to me because on the $5 shelf, there was a three pack of little K cups, which I know are $1.25, but I'm like, I'm not going to risk it because, well, you know, um, I picked up, I love these little tiny lint rollers. When you have black cats or any cat or any pet or any animal that sheds, I love having these like in my purse, at my office, everywhere. They're handy. Plus, for cross-stitching, they're great to get the cat fur off of. Now, this is not new. It's their version of Yahtzee. But next summer, which I feel like, oh, you're preparing so early. Girl, no, I'm not because and I'm, I'm arguing with myself. It's not that early because some of, like, I went and bought some clothes. But it's, I'm leaving in June. They've not... They're not going to have a lot more summer stuff out next year. So I bought some shorts that are on clearance. Just some fresh shorts to have. All right. So I was curious. Oh, they do. Okay. So it is Yahtzee. You get your dice. And I got this to take on our trip. Okay, good. And they have the scorecard. Which is what I was hoping for. And each card has 12 games on it. So that will be fun if we want to do some Yahtzee as a family. I will probably take it out of this container and just put it in a little zip bag and put it in my luggage. But we like games and I thought this would be fun like while we're sitting around at the airport or whatever. And we can just do like a running game. I did that before on a cruise with some friends. We had a running game of uh, rummy for the whole trip. Um, I found this and I just had to have it. Guys, do I need another mug? No, I do not need any more mugs in my life. But it's so cute. So I think it'll be more like decor and less like actually drinking out of it. I don't, it's only like 12 ounces, maybe 16, doesn't say. Uh, but it does say hand wash only. So keep that in mind and do not microwave. But I thought it was adorable and I think it's super cute. So I got it. 
because you know that's how I roll. Um, work related stuff for my part time job. I got these hot hands. I'm also thinking for my trip up to Kelly's Island in October if I'm out and about in the evening or riding my bike and I get cold. These might be decent to put in a travel bag, but football. I worked last night and it was pretty chilly and it was only in the 50s, but if you've ever been to a football stadium that's outdoors, the, the wind just blows through that place and I was freezing. So I grabbed two sets. We only have six more home games. There was only eight. So college football, uh, this year, my the team where I work, we have eight home games for the season and I've already worked two. So we have six games left. Um, I found these. These are the silicone scar sheets. My dermatologist recommended these to me. Um, I had a pre-melanoma removed back here and it got infected and she told me to put these scar sheets on it. But you can reuse these. Uh, yeah. It says remove, wash, rinse, and dry sheet daily. These are reusable silicone sheets and they help some dermatologist was also on the TikTok using them up here on the on the 11s. I've got the 11s. Frowners have the 11s. But I found them and I, I mean, I don't know why they would be any different. And you get six to a package, which are four to a package. And I'm sure they pick up like grossness, like anything else. So they are, but I mean, for any cut, scar anything you want to get rid of the scar now I don't know how soon after a scar I don't know if it if it helps with old scars I don't know that answer but that's okay right right um oh I started picking up little dog uh treats for Christmas my brother's dog she is a medium this will be for her she weighs she's under 30 pounds it's just a hard chew and for $1.25, I don't, you know, I think it's fun. She enjoys chewing on these things. It's bacon flavored. It is made in the U.S. It's ethical. It is not rawhide. And for stocking stuffers for the animals, uh, I will always pick them up there. Um, I picked up some sponges. I mean, for obvious use, but also because my... I clean my craft room, but I have a bathroom in there and my sink is disgusting. It's got paint and all kinds of stuff. So I need to, I need to get serious in my upstairs bathroom, get the paint out. Um, while we're on the subject of my craft space, I love using these little wipes while I'm crafting. So I have one going now, but it's almost gone. And I thought these would be fun. Watermelon and mango scented. But I just, you open them up, they're hand wipes. These are hand and body, uh, gentle baking soda and aloe. But while I'm crafting and stuff, I love having these, especially painting and anything messy, because I can just pull one out, wipe my hands and go. I don't have to keep washing my hands. So these are, I don't know how many you get, 30 packs, which is perfect. I'll put these in my craft room and now I'll have some more to clean up my messes. And the last thing I have in the craft front, in the last video I showed that I, ouch, that hurt. I bought um, the bracelet making kit and they also have these little beads to make a bracelet out of. And I thought this was some fun boho color. These are clay beads. Yeah, these are clay, polymer clay. So they're kind of like a rubbery feel to them. I got two packages because I'm not sure how many I'll need to make a bracelet, but I thought it would be fun to practice. With the, um, oh, here it is. Nope, lies. Lies. I thought it was there, but that's not it. So I grabbed some of these. Thumbnail. And then the last thing I got for my work kit, part-time job. Um, this is sassy and chic. It has clippers, a straight nail file, and then these little cute watermelon shaped nail files. But um, 
Last night when I was at work, I broke half my thumbnail and it was jagged and it was driving me batty because I didn't have any, I didn't have any with me. So I'm just going to really just throw this whole thing in my back. I have a backpack that I take to every game. And so I have over here some hot hands that will go in there for winter. And I put my dinner, it's a cooler on the top bag on the bottom, but, um, yeah, I just will throw this whole thing in there. And then if I have an issue or I can put them in a little zip bag, it's fine either way. But I needed to have a nail file last night and I didn't have one. And that was annoying. So that's everything I got this time at the Dollar Tree. I hope that helped. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you come back for more and I hope you like and subscribe. All right, guys, you have a fantastic Wednesday and I will talk with you later. Bye.